By mid-1916, the Australian Imperial Force had a bit of a problem on its hands. While initial support for the war was high, by this point, high casualty rates, along with unexpected conflict and a fallen enthusiasm for the war as a total, had seen a drop in voluntary enlistments for overseas service. To remedy this, Prime Minister Billy Hughes proposed the Military Service Referendum Act of 1916, often incorrectly referred to as the Conscription Referendum, to try and remedy this. While technically a plebiscite, the Act would have expanded upon the already existing Mandatory Military Service Acts in place since 1911 as part of the 1909 Commonwealth Defence Act. Now, previously, men of war fighting age had to undergo compulsory military training for the defence of Australia solely. The Military Service Referendum Act 1916 would have, as the wording suggested, quote, have the same compulsory powers over citizens in regards to requiring their military service for the term of the war outside of the Commonwealth, unquote. This meant that men called up for compulsory military service could, at the request of the government, be sent overseas. As this wasn't a true referendum, it didn't actually require the double majority, but still only narrowly failed to pass, with 1,087,557 votes in favour and 1,160,033 votes against. For those serving in the Australian Imperial Force, the result was the opposite, with 72,399 in favour and 58,894 against. In total, about 63,000 involved votes are also recorded. This outcome resulted in the government at the time having to split and the population having to go to the polls to vote for a new government. Billy Hughes would be re-elected and would try again in 1917. As the voluntary enlistment rates had continued to plummet in that year, Hughes again asked the people under the War Precautions Military Service Referendum Regulations 1917 to, quote, Are you in favour of the proposal of the Commonwealth Government for reinforcing the Australian Imperial Force overseas, unquote. Instead of altering the 1909 Defence Act in terms of compulsory military service, it proposed instead to implement a ballot system for men aged between 18 and 44, otherwise not disqualified for service, and only in months where voluntary enlistments fell below the 7,000 men, which was required the number to keep the six divisions active. Much like the first plebiscite, the second one failed, though through a much larger margin with 1,015,159 in favour and 1,181,747 against. Of the Australian Imperial Force, 103,789 voted in favour of the change to recruitment levels, while 93,910 voted against. In total, again, about 62,000 informal votes are also recorded. It has been for the longest time largely felt that the Australian soldier voted against the plebiscite due to, due to a desire of not having to fight alongside men who didn't want to be there, but the results suggest that as a whole, the Australian Imperial Force was actually in favour of these changes. Though, it should be noted, the closer you got to the front line, the more inclined you were to vote no.